Oh my God. How could this possibly be happening? Great to be here. Great to see you here. It's so nice to be back in the building. My goodness, I have not been on this stage in many, many years. I, uh, in fact, I am now a married family guy. When I was last here, I was a younger man. I was uh, 45. I got married at the age of 45. I am 53 now. 45 is late to get married. Clearly, I had some issues. <laughs> and I was enjoying those issues while I had them. But being, you know, 45, you know, that's 25 years of dating. Do you know how exhausting that is? Do you know how much acting fascinated that is? <laughs> what is this? Your sister is thinking of leasing a Hyundai Elantra. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> but uh, I love being married. I love being married because when you're married, you wake up ready. You roll out of bed ready with answers to challenging questions that women are working on through the night. <laughs> Deep, philosophical, hypothetical issues that no one has ever considered before. If you faked your own death and I found out about it, what would you say then? <laughs> it's like being on a game show when you're married and you're always in the lightning round. <laughs> it's not an easy game show. I feel like I should have a podium in my house that I could stand behind has my name in a little oval at the front, a little hand button clicker. I'll take movies I think we saw together for 200. <laughs> the wife, of course, is always the returning champion from last week. <laughs> um, I'll take details of a 10 minute conversation we had at three o'clock in the morning eight years ago. <laughs> and I'd like to bet everything I have on that, Alex. I'm going for the win, right here. The husband, of course, never has a clue. I'm sorry, sir, you did not win the weekend sex package or the guilt-free televised sporting event. Thank you for playing. Are you even listening to me? And don't forget to take that big bag of garbage with you on your way out of the studio. by the way, is not a problem for me because I'm a good garbage taker-outer. Garbage removal is one of my husband's strengths. I hate garbage, I love to remove it. <laughs> my wife is, of course, the opposite. She's a holder, a saver, a keeper. My wife saves everything. She has every styrofoam peanut, every scrap of paper is numbered, cataloged, and filed. And I just throw things out. I like to throw things out. Where's the wedding album? I thought you were done with it. <laughs> and that was wrong. Those were some very nice memories, and they're gone now. But the point is this. <laughs> it is my personal opinion that all things, all objects, everything you own really only exists as part of a parade of garbage to the dumpster. <laughs> everything you own is pre-garbage. Your home is a garbage processing center where new things are purchased and slowly demoted through various stages of trashification until you're done. <laughs> Starts out, you're excited. You bring it home, you put it on the kitchen table, you read the instructions, you tell other people in the house all about it. And then some time goes by and you realize maybe you're not going to be quite as keen on drying out fruit and storing it in your basement <laughs> as you thought you were going to be. And so the object is demoted to the closet. It's there for a while, eventually it lands on the floor. You start stepping on it to reach newer things <laughs> that are just beginning on their journey to junk. Then the garage. The garage can be one of the longest phases for the object, but it is the most definite. No object in human history has ever successfully made it from the garage back into the house. <laughs> Even the word garage seems to be a form of the word garbage. <laughs> when you're living in the same room as the garbage cans, well, it won't be much longer now. Really, eBay is the only thing that can save the object at this point. <laughs> eBay, of course, another great step forward in human culture. Hey, why don't we mail our garbage back and forth to each other? <laughs> it's all got to go, my friends. Everything is thrown out in the end. Even we are thrown out in the end, my friends. And when I hear about someone that died and wanted certain important personal possessions put in with them when they're buried, I'm all for that. 
take your crap with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, more with Jerry Seinfeld.